Hey, hey, Rod here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Canon XF400. Cue the intro. Hey, and welcome back. You know, a few months before COVID-19 was laid in our laps, I rented a Canon XA50, this XF400's slightly less capable sibling. And I took it to New Orleans, and then I produced a video reviewing it. Then, during COVID, I purchased this camera, the XF400, instead of the XA50. So in this video and in future videos, I'll explain why I purchased this one over the other, and also discuss some of the features and some of the abilities in this camera that simply aren't available with a mirrorless camera like my EOS R, which I'm shooting this part of the video with. Whether you're going with the XA50 or the XF400, uh, their bodies are very similar and there's a lot to like on board these cameras. First, it has dual card slots for redundancy or for uh, continuous shooting. So you have dual SD cards in this camera. Um, it also has a handle that you can remove from this uh, if you want a smaller footprint. But if you want to get the full capability out of this camera, you're going to want to use this little handle, screw it on there, because it will allow you to utilize uh, a boom mic or uh, an external mic, which you're going to get better quality audio. And uh, I love these XLR cables on these cameras, and we're going to uh, delve farther into the ability of the XLR in this camera in a future video. Um, but this is a, a very cool little feature that you can take this on and off depending on your needs for that shoot. It has ND filters, six stops of ND uh, filters uh, right at the tip. You also have a, a, a focus and zoom ring, and the, you can customize this camera to fit your needs and your shooting style. It also comes with remote control, which will allow you to change settings, zoom in and out, uh, a lot of cool features that you can utilize with that remote control. So as for why I opted for the XF400 over the XA50, because if you look at the specs of both of the cameras, they're very similar. For me though, it came down to the XF400's ability to shoot video in 4K at 60 frames per second. And if you're someone who doesn't need 4K and 1080 HD is enough for you, the XA50 will likely do the trick. But if you need 4K, you're gonna to wanna to take a closer look at this camcorder. I will say, I've owned this camera for over six months now and I love shooting video with this camera. Not only is the quality exceptional, it's fun to shoot. It is a dream to use and I'm so happy that I bought this camera. No buyer's remorse at all. Truth is, I could talk your ear off on how much I enjoy this camera, but enough is enough. So without further ado, let's take the XF400 outside and show you what it can do. We get a flavor of uh, what this camera is capable of with the with the 15 times zoom, and uh, and the 30 times advanced zoom. Here we're kind of zoomed in to the uh, memorial here at Memorial Park, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And just see how smooth that is. You know, you're not going to get that any. You're not going to get anything that smooth out of a, a mirrorless EOS R or anything of the kind um, without some help. But straight out of the camera. The XF400, it zooms in and it zooms out. And depending on the shot that you want to capture, you're really going to be able to get some really cool looking video. Um, whether you're zooming in and out of a model or, uh, you know, something like this that we're seeing here in downtown Utica as people walk through the park. <laughs> Look at that picture. It's just beautiful. You can also zoom in and out using the remote control that comes with this XF400 as well. But look at that. I'm zoomed in as tight as I can be, holding it in my hand. It just, it looks great. What do you think? I love the zoom in this camera. All right, I've taken the leash out of my hand and I have it at my feet, but just holding this camera If you're deliberate with your shots, you can definitely get away with uh, not having a monopod or a tripod with this camera. 
But again, it depends on what you're shooting. Another thing that I like to do with video is start having one subject or something in my composite and then zooming out and panning up to get to a different point by the end of the video clip. So you start looking at one thing and then you end the video clip focused on something different. And again, I'm doing this handheld with a monopod or a tripod that would be much smoother. But with the zoom and the ability to move real slow, combine that with the fact that you can record at 120 frames per second in 1080 or 60 frames per second in 4K. Slow it down a little bit. It's going to give you some really, really cool looking video. If you do find yourself in Utica, I highly recommend the new place, Vino and Vibes. They're packing them in quite regularly over there. Very cool place. Or find yourself at Shamrock. And when you eat at Shamrock, you'll be looking right at one of my favorite things about downtown Utica, Wendy Popko's mural that she did a couple years ago. Just love looking at that every time I walk by here. Here's some more video clips that I've taken with this XF400. I just love the picture. I love when people put flowers out on their step. Classens up the place. What do you think? Pretty good video, huh? Hey, in my next video about this XF400, we're gonna be showcasing features on this camera that we talked about earlier, including the XLR inputs, and we're gonna talk about the four channels of audio that you can record at the same time. If you like this camera and you already know you wanna buy it, click on the link in the description. You're gonna get a great deal on this Canon XF400. You won't be disappointed. I think you're gonna like this camera. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like icon, share it with all your friends. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram. Also check out my website at ronrobinsonstudios.com where you can see more of my videos and listen to my podcasts. And if you have any questions about what I covered in this video about this camera or any other videos, please leave a comment or shoot me an email. Until next time. Just don't work with you.